Rick Moronis, uh, you're getting ready to take off to Laredo for a Daniel Baez's fight. What would a win uh, for Daniel mean at this stage of his career? Ah, it should be a good win. You know, he's finding a good fighter. Um, I think it's going to be a good competitive fight. The kid 4 0 with four knockouts, and it's 5 0 with four knockouts. So, you know, Daniel's about pleasing the fans. You know, he's a throwback. You know, I got a few throwback fighters here that they're not worried about being undefeated. You know, especially nowadays, an undefeated fighter is not guaranteed a world title shot. So, you know, you, you get two, three losses, you get a title shot. So, I like that about Daniel. Daniel's willing to fight anybody. And, you know, when you have that confidence to fight anybody, it comes a lot behind it. You know, preparation, we're confident in it, uh, we're confident in the game plan. Confident in the work we put in, confident in each other as a team, and that's why we're willing to fight. It's not just Daniel. I got a lot of fighters. We fight anybody, and we spoil. We spoil many, you know. So that, that's what it's about. We're going in there, please the fans, put a good fight together, and you know, see what happens. Now this is going to be his first televised fight. Do you think that's going to motivate him more, or do you um, think I mean, he's going to give? You know, it's a 50-50 thing, man. You know, I, I, he ain't be, I, it's hard to say because he's not in a situation right now. Um, I hope he does. You know, <laughs> I hope yeah. I hope it motivates him to come on and perform to its best to his best of his ability, you know, so um, I know what he's capable of doing, and I think come Saturday he's going to show, you know, he's going to show what he can do. All right, thank you.